Good morning to all traders. We are here again with another Market Insights video. And today we are looking at three events that could shake the markets. UK's inflation report, US consumer confidence and Fed's Powell testimony, which is what I will be talking about today a little bit. Now, we've had a good rally on high yield currencies yesterday against the dollar as trade optimism after an extension uh, to the conclusion of the US-China trade war supported risk appetite. Fed Chair, um, Fed Chair Power is expected to talk about monetary policy at Capitol Hill later today, and this could move the markets to the upside if, uh, of course, he maintains a patient tone to his message. On the other hand, if he is more optimistic because of the trade war extension, that could lift high yield currencies nevertheless on improved uh, risk appetite. And when we're talking about currencies with high sensitivity to market returns, there's nothing better to talk than Aussie. And um, I want to go down to the one hour, to the one day chart. Uh, prices here have breached the 200 uh, moving average for the third time um, over the past few days, I would say. And within the same period, um, bears send prices low, indeed, but they haven't managed to break below the 0 0.7058 support. So their attempt was um, a little bit weak. Um, and also it failed. Okay, And after the um, sort of projection higher than the support, we saw prices reversing all the way to the upside. Now, down on the four-hour chart, we can see uh, a false break below 0 0.7075. That has given um, Aussie dollar and 150 pip boost up to the 72 cents. And that is followed by a one-wave corrective move that took out all the Fibonacci levels and formed a double bottom at 0 0.7075. Corrective waves are at least two waves uh, in normal situations. Now, from here, we are in an expanding triangle. And as long as we remain above 0 0.7130, which is the 50 Fibonacci retracement, the bullish scenario should remain valid. A break below that level uh, could take prices all the way down for a triple bottom or to meet the uh, ascending trend line. Uh, and from there, if signs are no different, a rally up to the top of the trend line could be expected. Now, just to have a little bit of um, a closer look, let's go down on the one hour chart. Here, we have the same pattern in a shorter view. Okay, so we can see uh, the false break and the, uh, the rally in a full impulse upside wave that could have completed a two-wave corrective move by 0 0.7157. Uh, but this is likely to extend a little bit lower down to the 50 Fibonacci at 0 0.7127. There are still chances that um, that moves a little bit lower down to 7132, um, where also the uh, moving average, the 50 moving average, uh, is expected to meet with the prices. Now, if we see a sharp move ahead of Fed stock or within the next session, it's not certain, but it could occur nevertheless. If 0 0.7127 breaks, we could see prices going all the way back towards the 71 cents mark or maybe a little bit lower. I would definitely pay attention to this pair today and um, and try to understand how prices are moving within the triangle pattern. Thank you for watching our daily video. Once again, do feel free to subscribe to our channel to stay updated about the markets. And don't forget to visit our blog where we cover the latest news, publish trading ideas, and provide all the necessary tools to serve you responsibly.